<laughs> yeah, you remember that ride, the shockwave of Great America? We've gone down that big steep thing, Ryan, but we didn't do the loop-de-loop -loop yet. Uh, so that's what's coming in next. The little bit more in the way of activity possible, at least. It all really depends on how this morning round wraps up, and that's going to happen within the next um, hour or two as we start to see everything winding down from round one. And then a little break before round two begins to filter in. Right now you're looking at the remains of round one as we see those stronger storms heading on off to the east uh, and really looking at just a bit of activity remaining. Here's a look at the lightning, which we have in play right now with this. There's still quite a bit, especially out across areas uh, near Morris and heading into Kankakee. When you want to look at the warnings, though, we still do not have any warnings associated with any of this activity. Now, as we look a little bit farther south, it is a little potent there, certainly heading in towards Knox and Winnebago on off to the east. But really, what I think is that later today, the intense stuff is likely to filter out. So by 4.30 in the afternoon, we probably get a little bit of a break in this first round, and then we start to deal with the potential for stronger storms coming through. That happens during the late evening hours clears and we're left with just a couple of scattered showers leading into your Friday. Friday actually looks significantly better and will still be mild. Precipitation tracker, this is one of the issues that we're looking at. Yes, the main severe threat will be for severe wind gusts as well as hail. Outside chance of a tornado, most of the activity will not include that rotation, but Precipitation tracker is going to show us anywhere from one to two to two and a half inches of rain possible with round number two. So that's going to bring about a flooding potential for us and a threat of that. We'll need to keep an eye on that. Wind damage is the next greatest threat, followed by hail. And finally, the lowest threat is tornadic activity. Seven day planner is going to have temperatures tomorrow right around 70. Should have a mix of sun and clouds. I think maybe a possibility of a few scattered showers and then a little active again this weekend. But uh, temperature wise, we're 60s and 70s now for the rest of the seven day.